What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to create hair for your character for Unreal Engine. We're going to be using the Groom plugin, so it's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is of course have the plugins that we need enabled. So just go to edit, plugins and type in Groom and you have to have a Groom enabled and a Lambic Groom importer enabled. Uh, now make sure that you have restarted the editor. But before you restart, you have to also do one thing. So go edit private settings, uh, search for skin, and you will see this support skin, uh, compute skin cache. So you just go ahead and enable that. And now you can restart your editor and go back. Okay, so we will need to export our character into Blender in order to add hair. And I know it sounds a bit weird and that we have to export the character out of Unreal Engine, but it is necessary in order to um, gener uh, generate the Alembic file. So let's go into third person blueprints and go into the third person character blueprint. And if we select the mesh, you can see that we're using the uh, the queen uh, simple. So we can just navigate into it and then we can right click on the queen simple. And what we're going to do is go into asset actions and we have to export the mesh as an FBX. So just go ahead and select it and we need to find a root. They want to save it. So once you get the root, you say uh, save and then it will appear um, the export settings. Now just uh, leave everything as default, okay? Uh, like this is okay. And then we can just go ahead and export. And there we go. So now we need to hop on into Blender and what we're going to do is well, uh, we're gonna delete all the default stuff that is on here. So go ahead and delete this and I go to file, import, and it's gonna be an FBX. Find the asset that we have just exported and then go ahead and import it. Okay, so it has just imported and you can see that we have here uh, our mannequin. Now, if we go ahead and open the in the hierarchy, uh, you will see that we have here the root and we have different lots that they are all active by default. Now, um, the thing is that we're gonna be using the mannequin just as a uh, model um, to create the hair on top of it. So it's just to basically know where we're gonna place the hair basically. So. Um, we can delete the lot 2 and lot 1. But of course, we need the lot 0, which is going to be the best high quality um, in order to add the hair on top of it. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is go ahead and go into edit mode over top of here. And it will allow us to select the polygons they want to add the hair on. So, uh, what we're going to do is click outside to just deselect everything. I'm going to go and click the wireframe. Now, the reason is that I'm going to click the wireframe is that is because when I select uh, an area, it will also select it uh, behind the triangles. If I were to select it only in this side, it will not select the part behind. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to center it in the Y. I'm going to make some zoom and it's going to make some simple hair. So I'm going to select all this area basically like this. And now I can see that we have the hair uh, over here now of course is this is the zone that the hair will appear basically so once we have uh, kind of the area that we want we can of course tune it in more maybe add more with shift to make it a bit more better you can customize it as you want uh, in my case pretty much like this is gonna be okay for me okay so what we have to do right now is we can hop in into the uh, normal shading so it's a bit easier to see and what we're going to do is go up here into um, vertex groups and sorry vertex groups is down here sorry and basically we have a lots of groups already created um, but we're going to add a new one so just click on here and it's going to be adding a new group now double click and just name it hair because it's going to be the group of uh, vertices and polygons I just say assign and to double check, you can just deselect and then select. And if it selects the area that we have selected, it has basically assigned it properly. So now what we can do is go into here in the uh, particle uh, properties. And we're going to be adding a new particle system. Now I'm going to rename this into hair because of course it's a hair. And uh, instead of emitter, we're going to be using hair. Now, uh, in order to you know make it uh, appear, we have to go back into object mode. And then you can see that we have uh, hair appearing, but in all our model, we only want it to appear in the uh, area that we selected. So uh, to do that, we can go into vertex groups and in density, we can just click and uh, search for hair. And then it will only appear in the 
part that we selected. So let's go ahead and control a bit this because of course it's um, a lot of hair and it's too long. So in the hair length, I mean it depends on what length you want to have, um, but you know, I think 0.3 will be pretty good for me, like I'm having like a long hair, but uh, cool. Uh, now the number uh, is the number of hair strands that you're gonna have. The more you have, the better it's gonna look at the end result, and also when you have the uh, simulation on, but the more performance heavy it's gonna be. So I'm gonna leave it into you guys uh, what you decide. In my case, I'm gonna go something as 4,000, okay? There we go. Basically, we need to, uh, you know, brush the hair into a certain way so it doesn't like just bikes going on, you know? So go up here. I'm gonna go into the particle edit. And then you can see that we're gonna use the comp uh, tool. And then you can see that we have this circle. So just increase the radius a bit so it covers a bit more of area. The strength you can play with it. You're gonna see how it goes. And basically, just uh, go into one side, for example, and basically you start um, like this. I'm gonna basically make the hair as we want. Imagine right now you're like a hairdresser or a, or a barber, something like that. And basically you're gonna go ahead and make the hair as you want. Now, I just realized that maybe it's too long. <laughs> uh, so go back into object mode and delete the edit. 0.17, something like that. It's gonna be a bit better for me. So I can go back into particle edit and now again, go ahead and edit it. So yeah, you can go ahead and play around with stuff. So I'm gonna lower the strength and the radius now to concentrate more in this part over here. It's gonna be starting to look like. Let's go ahead and go into the other side and also paint it. So have in mind, you have to control the both sides and just start making it uh, much better, much freedom. Screech the strength on here like this. You can also go ahead and cut the hair. So for example, make it a bit less, you can see, instead of uh, directly changing the particle length. And then you can go ahead and experiment with different, um, you know, styles. And I think this looks pretty, pretty cool. So I'm um, gonna go into object mode. And there we go, we have our hair being applied over here. So uh, we have to do one more thing before exporting, because it's pretty much ready to export. Uh, so we have to go into, um, here here and open the renderer and then when it says uh, show emitter we're gonna turn this off and then in viewport display we're gonna turn this off again now the reason that we have done that is that it will only export the hair because in, in export settings will uh, enable to export only the objects that are uh, visible and if we disable it in render and viewport they're not visible so we will not export the model as it just was a template for us to create the hair okay so now that we have basically um, created that we can go ahead and uh, select our um, body over here and we can go up in here into file and export as uh, lambic because it's the type that Unreal will support for the uh, groom basically now we do have to change some properties over here in the export settings. The first thing that we have to do is change the scale. Instead of one, it will be 100 because it's the scale that uh, Unreal Engine will work with the groom with. Uh, then the frame start and the end, it will be one and one, uh, basically because we don't have an, any animation or whatever. So we don't need to export more frames, you know? Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to basically go ahead and uh, export only the selected objects and only the visible objects. And this is for the thing that I just mentioned before, to only export the hair and other model and things like that, okay? Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, open export uh, object option, sorry, and disable, uh, you know, UVs, normals, and generic coordinates. We don't need any of that stuff. And then go ahead and make sure that in particle systems we have export hair on and export particles on. Of course, that's the most important part of it. And now with all that said, we can go ahead and export the Alembic file into our um, destination. Okay, so now back into Unreal Engine, what we're going to do is uh, going to create a new folder, call it hair tutorial, and I'm going to head and enter it, and I'm going to go ahead and import it. So just right click and import to uh, destination, select your file, and then just go ahead and say open. And then basically we have to change a bit the configuration of our rotation and scale. 
This is because Unreal Engine works in different uh, axes um, as in Blender. And we could have changed in Blender, but I believe that it is a bit easier to put in here. So in the rotation, we're gonna have 90 degrees on the first one for the X axis. And on the scale, it's gonna be one and then minus one over here into the Y axis and then one back in here into the Z. So 90, zero, zero, and then for the scale, one minus one, one. So now we can go ahead and import it correctly. And now it's here, so we can go ahead and open it. And now you will see that it will basically appear over here. And it looks really cool. Now we do have to change some things to it to uh, customize it uh, basically how we want. So also Ctrl Shift S to save everything, just to make sure if it crashes or something like that. So first of all, we're gonna go into strands and I'm gonna increase a bit the hair width because it's a bit too low. Uh, now, the more hair that you implemented in Blender um, and the less hair width you have, it's going to be a better resource because it's going to be thinner, uh, you know, hair, um, but more quantity, which is going to be look much better. But because I don't have so much, I will need to uh, make the hair width a bit uh, bigger. Uh, now, the root scale, I do recommend decreasing it a bit. So uh, it's a bit, um, you know, the, the, the tip of the hair will be bigger than the root basically and then you can change the you know shadow density and things like that but in my case i'm not gonna be touching anything else that so now the next thing i'm gonna do is go into physics tab i'm gonna go open the solver settings and you see that we have enable simulation so we're gonna go ahead and enable that and you will see that our hair has just uh and yeah, some physics on it so it will basically be looking much much cooler um, when we have uh it on the player running so let's go ahead and save it. So now we're gonna go ahead and to go into the third person blueprint. So go ahead and find it. And you can see that we have here, my God, I have a fly right now, my setup. That is, oh my God, flying all around. Okay, so now what we have to do is add the uh, groom asset into our mesh. So go into the viewport, go to the mesh, and then add a groom asset uh, component, sorry. So then it will be child of mesh, okay? Make sure it's that. So now we can go ahead and uh, in the groom asset, select our hair tutorial. And then you can see that it's already appearing there in the perfect position as we have basically uh, modeled it from the, the model's perspective. Uh, so now we can go ahead and compile and save and go back and press play. And now you can see that we have a hair, but there's a problem. If we go ahead and move, you can see that the hair will not be aligned with the head's position and rotation and stuff. So, um, what we have to do is basically bind it to the skeletal mesh. Now you can also maybe you know make it um, actually a child of a of the head socket bone, but I do not recommend doing that. Okay, I recommend actually following the skeletal mesh. So we have to create a binding asset. Let's go back into the content folder, go into our hair tutorial, and then in the groom asset, just right click, and we have a nice button saying uh, create binding go ahead and select it um the only thing that we have to uh go ahead and change is the target skeletal mesh and so just find our um queen uh the, the queen symbol which is the one that we are using and then you say create and there we go here it is you save it and close so we don't have to touch anything of that and now in the groom asset back in the third person character blueprint we can just select the binding, binding asset that we created and then compile and save and now if we press play you can see that the hair will actually start following the um, skeletal mesh. It will be looking really, really cool. And also it will be basically um, moving with physics, which just looks absolutely amazing. Now you can go ahead and control the uh, physics, you know, um, like the weight of this of the hair and stuff to make it look nicer. But I'm going to leave it like that because it looks cool. Now I'm going to show you one last thing is to uh, basically change the hair's material. My gun is the fly is really annoying, huh? Maybe we can. It's too fast. All right, so we can go ahead and create a new material over here. It's gonna be just M hair, for example. Go ahead and open it. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we have to change is the um, shading uh, model. So uh, instead of default lead, it will basically be type of hair. And then the next thing that we have to do, write strands and you will see used with hair strands and we have to go ahead and enable that. 
Okay, so now we can just apply a base color. So to add a use color, just hold three and then left click and it will appear this node. Just plug it in into base color. We go and then double click and we can change the color. Something like that, pretty cool. Uh, or maybe green, actually green will look even cooler. And then you can just press okay. And then we have the material there and you can just apply it over here and also go ahead and save it. Okay, so now that we have our material, we can go into our um, third person character and open up the uh, hair uh, groom. Now we can go into material in the material tab and add a material slot. So use add one and then we're going to plug in our, uh, sorry, I just plugged. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> sorry, I thought I was doing another one. Now I plugged in the M hair and you can see now we have the green hair. So we can now go ahead and save it, press play, and you will see that we have a beautiful green hair running around our character. So that's it guys, and you found it so useful and helpful, I really appreciate it, go like the video and subscribe. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one, so check them out. And with all that said, bye bye.